<clears throat> okay, 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 shoot, okay. Okay, I think it's going. I don't know if it's going. I don't see anything. Oh, YouTube is hard. Oh boy, okay. Crud. All right. Well, uh, hey, I hope you can hear me. Okay, so here. Shoot, I keep walking away from the camera, but I need to do a mic check. Mic check? Okay, good. You hear me. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, that's going to get annoying fast. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, guys, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and we're live! I hope the picture looks good. I hope, I hope the audio is good. I've got my trusty Swiss Army knife, right, meow, and I've got my Red Bull, right, meow, and we're going to unbox this Zortrax 3D printer. I think it's the M200. I'll set this over here. Hmm, all right, yeah, Zortrax approached me. They said, hey, Joel, we love your channel. Would you mind reviewing the M200 for us? And I was like, shoot, I could do that. I even said it like that. Shoot. Shoot. God, they take this up really good. I think Zortrax is, uh, is it Poland? Maybe it's, is it, is it Poland? Is there something on that side? No, okay, this whole, ooh, this whole lid flippy flops right up. That's exciting. Uh, let's see. Okay. Knife down. Boy. This is like a show. This is like an Apple unboxing. All right. That opens up. I do have to send this printer back. So remind me, don't let me destroy this box because I have to send it back in this box. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at this. Right, right up front. The the Zortrax Quick Start Guide. Quick Start Guide. Hmm. Zortrax 3D printer and warranty terms, which I don't have to worry about because I'm not keeping the machine. And, okay, that's connected to something. Well, I get the feeling this box, oh, that box doesn't want to come out. Oh, the whole printer's in this box. Oh, boy. Oh, this, this might be difficult to open. <laughs> from this side does the okay the phone comes up there we go and I'll put this right over them y'all there we go foam 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 oh and here's the printer Ooh, Zortraxy that's a big oh it's heavy it's metal okay The Zortrax 3D printer is awfully heavy. I think it's made of a collapsed neutron star or something. All right, look at this. Right here, this is a Zortrax M200 three-dimensional printer. Oh, this fell off. Dang it, I broke it. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. Look at this. There's all sorts of little electronics in here. I don't know if you can see them right there, right there. Looks like it's got a stepper motor and some wires. I think this goes right back in there. Is that a 3D printed piece? Ooh, interesting. There's this. What the crap is this? All right, that plugs. Oh. I know where this goes. It goes here, right? Let's see. 
Oh, okay. So as you push this connector down, it, uh, it, it the, the little, the little hooks on the side kind of collapse, collapse in and, and hold it into place. That's handy. Wait, you guys remind me I'm keeping the box. I can't, I can't just throw stuff around. Power cable. This is the spool holder, and it, I know this because right on the package it says spool holder. Let's see, spool holder. There's this piece. I saved it. Man, I'm good at this. Um, ooh. So inside this box, right here is a shipping clip, and it's meant to attach to the two metal bars here on the inside like that. When I just took out the plastic, it was not attached. So this, this Zortrax printer was not properly packaged for shipping. I mean, it was just this clip and it looks like everything survived, but, but now you know. So if this catches on fire, we know it's because of that clip. Let's see. Muscles. Let's see. The foam can be pulled out. And oh, I know what's in here. I got some. That's right, Zortrax likes its very own filament. And this happens to be Z Ultrat Ivy. Z Ultrat, Ultrat Ivy. I'm, I'm thinking that's a fancy word for white, but we'll see. It does look white. It does look white, that looks white. That looks white. Let's see. Here is a tube, and I imagine this is, if the filament holder is here, I bet, I bet this tube's gonna go here, and this is how the filament is gonna go into here. We'll keep that handy and will not throw that away. Look at me, saving the packaging. This never happens. Also, I'm sorry I'm not in the chat because the chat is right there and I can't reach it. It is further away from me than my arm can stretch. But if you're chatting about things, that's fantastic. I see it scrolling. It's scrolling a little bit. I imagine chatting is happening. Oh, all right, here's another box on the inside. Ooh, this is the, this is the Zortrax starter kit. Starter kit. It looks like, it looks like that. Let's see what's inside the Zortrax starter kit for Zortrax 3D printer. Ooh. Well, that's a good way to start. Right off the top, here is a heated bed plate. I bet that'll come in handy. I'll put that right there, not on the ledge. Ooh, and then look at all, look at all this stuff, okay. I think you can see all that. There's a, um, these are the uh, flush cut snips. Here's an X-Acto knife, some Allen wrenches. There is a paint scraper, um, some glue, extruder cable clamps. I bet that comes in handy. Um, oh, here's a socket. Here's a card reader. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, a little card reader. That's nice of them to include. Okay, safety goggles. The Zortrax M200 includes includes safety goggles and 3M Comfort Grip gloves. Okay, I know many of you have a 3D printer or have used a 3D printer and uh, show of hands or show of chat or whatever, how many of you use gloves and safety goggles when you're printing with an FDM printer? I know it's dangerous, but 
Uh, I, I guess I like to live dangerously. All right, well, that's, that's in there. That's in there. Um, okay, oh, let's see. The SD slot has a Zortrax SD card. Zortrax SD card. Well, they're branded, right? And there's the, the display. This is what's gonna connect up to the heated build plate. I'll take off. It's almost like a rubbery blue tape. It's not like the blue tape you use on your print bed. This is a, a, a rubbery kind of, it's like blue electrical tape. Blue electrical tape. Hmm. Oh, and there's some packing material back here. There's some of these right here. All right, um, saving the packaging. Don't forget, saving the packaging. Hmm. Boy, this is heavy. Let's attach this build plate. What do you say? Wait, which side is the warning? Okay. Soldering forbidden. Sure. Um, remove before print. Okay. Okay, I'm... I am new to Zortrax, so I... Uh, this is, is this the, the build plate, I guess? It's got, um, it's got holes in it. It's got holes in it. Just like, like that, look at that, it's got holes. Um, oh, I guess I could break out the quick start guide. God, I hate doing that. Oh, is it ziplocked? Oh, they thought of everything. Zortrax 3D printer. Warranty, the warranty book is thicker than the instruction manual. Whatever that means. All right, how does the Zortrax work? It shaves unicorn horn and dusts it in a witch's brew of expired pumpkin ale and giraffe's snot. Awesome. Z filament series, there's the overview, everything in the box. The printer environment, it says, um, oh, all right, I have to install special software to print with this. Hey, according to this, I unpacked it correctly. All right, setting up, insert the build platform and fit magnets marked in the picture. What? 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 Magnets? Okay. Okay, I put that in, um, I put, oh, I guess that, okay. Magnets, and apparently this, this is gonna go on the back and it has to be screwed in with brackets. Thankfully, they included some, some things. Let's hook this up. Not the easiest thing right here. Nope, doesn't go that way. And it goes that way. Okay, that's plugged in. Looks like there's a tiny, tiny little connector up here. Okay. Oh, okay, so the build plate is removable, but the magnets are the what hold it in place. We can remove this shipping clip. I promise, Zortrax, when I send this back to you, I will reinsert the shipping clip. My goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Now it wants me to put the brackets on. I guess I could put the brackets on.
I should, uh, here, I'm going to walk over to the stream and I'm going to check on it. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, things going okay. I can't, my chat, uh, I can't, I can't say stuff in, I can't say stuff in chat because it's, it's way over here. Um, let's see, what if I could, uh, uh, okay, I will, I'll tell you what, I'll come back to chat. Let me, let me get this together and then I will situate it. I wonder, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me get this, let me get this put together. Extruder cable clamps. Oh, they're not, well, I don't know now. In the instructions, it shows screws. It's, it's using screws to attach the brackets. And uh, this, this is a, well, apparently hard to open, Ziploc baggie. All right. This is the, oh, this is the extruder, okay. This is for this. My bad. My bad. Mm -hmm. The filament holder. Okay. The spool holder. Oh, I think I saw this design on Thingiverse. <laughs> if it's 3D printed, it's 3D printed really, really well. And it's pretty darn strong. Let's see. You know, while I'm doing this to the printer, what I can do is turn it around so you guys can see. Let me find those clips they were talking about. Maybe they're underneath the flush cutters. Oh, there's a, there's a, an exact, not an exacto knife, a, uh, uh, a cutter. What are those? Look at that. I didn't see that before. It's amazing. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. The instructions show one thing, but the Okay. Um, I don't understand this. It's for the M so setting setting up. Setting up, okay. Um, and I'm just, do they want, oh, I see. They want, okay, instructions aren't clear, but we'll make do. Because that's what we do, we make do. Do that again. I hope chat's going well. I'm really, really sorry I can't be in there with you guys. Next time I will have a chat room monitor sitting next to me and they can be like, oh my goodness, Joel, did you hear what blow, blow, blow said? And I'll be like, oh, ha, ha, that's funny. And yet I'll still be on camera. Any one of those little ear, ear pieces, right? That's what I need. There we go. Third one. Three of three. Okay, that looks good. I think that looks good. So here's the filament holder.
this looks like it goes right through here. Okay, that was easy. That was easy. Um, ooh, now's the part where we load filament. That's kind of exciting. Let's see if I can, let me, um, okay, I gotta clean this off and then get the, the plug in and we'll make it happen. Those glasses are getting in the way. Zortrax 3D printer. Warning. Let's put that right there for now. Let's see. Z material handling information. Please store the Z material in the spool as shown in the picture. Oh, this is just saying, hey, don't forget to do that, you, you mo. Let's see. There is some of that um, plastic wrap around this. That was easy. And the little piece of paper in here was to highlight this part of the spool so you can slide the filament through it. That was nice of them, I guess. Okay, filament looks to be loaded. Hope you guys are doing okay. What time is it? Oh, we've only been going 20 minutes. That's not too bad. See, this is why I edit my unboxings, right? Or else or else all this minutia of me putting crap over here or me shooing the dog because the dog's chewing her bone. Um, okay, well, it looks like we may have to end soon. Like, now, let me shift the light over here. See if I can move stuff. Um, can you see this? This is a European power plug. I'm not, I'm in Seattle. I'm not in Europe. I, I can't plug this into my wall. I have no receptacles that take this sort of plug-in. I thought maybe, uh, maybe Zortrax would have included a a USA power plug, but they did not. So uh, I'll have to go shopping for an adapter because there is not one in the box. Um, well, cool. Hey, we unboxed the printer as far as we could go, right? We got, come here, light. Look at this. We have the M200 sitting here. There was a shipping clip that was not attached during shipping, but it doesn't look like there was any damage. It was packed well in that foam and that plastic. This, this Z material unloaded and from its spool and loaded into the head just fine. The build plate is a really, really interesting surface. Uh, it looks like it's been used before. Um, let me check the extruder. Everything's clean. Uh, but it's, it seems to be, it seems to be kind of cool because it's held on magnetically. Um, yeah, well, I'll talk to Zortrax. I will, I will definitely talk to Zortrax and I will, uh, I'll see, I'll see what's up. I'll see if I can't maybe, oh, look at this. Another shipping clip was not attached. Man, I tell you, I'll talk to Zortrax and see if they meant to send a plug for my country or if I need to go to the local Radio Shack and get an adapter, which they're not expensive, are they? Are they? I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't travel much. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there is nothing. 
Nothing in there. Well, poop. That sucks. Wish I would have known. That's it. Well, let's call this unboxing over. I will, I'll try to grab the laptop and I will uh, put it here and I'll try to interact in the chat room. The, the video is seven to 10 seconds behind the chat room. So uh, if you ask me questions and I shout them out, just remember if you ask a question, wait 10 to 15 seconds before getting irate because I'm ignoring you. That seems, that seems fair, right? Right? Here, let's do this. I'll put that over here. Put that over here. I'll put this over here. Now, I wonder. Okay, hold with me while I do this. And. Okay, I can make this happen. Oh, that's awesome. How do I look? So if I sit down, okay. We're getting there. This is a highly configurable environment. Yeah, let me get a chair. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move the camera closer. That's just silly. Mm. Oh, my power plug came out. Hold, please. Okay, here we go. So when I type this, you will hear it 10 seconds later. <sighs> a PC power plug should work. That's a, that's a fantastic idea. Holy cow, I totally forgot about that. Because look, look at, this is this end. Well, oh, you know, I wonder, that's a, that's a good call, but I, I wonder if the, the voltage, I wonder if the voltage is set. This, there's no voltage selector on this power supply. Uh, uh, uh Well, I don't know. It's, it's worth a try, right? Man, these lights are hot. Lights are hot. My hair looks like this because it was under a hat. I had my, my hair under a hat, a hat. Let's see, talk about lag, I know, oh my God, talk about lag. Mr. Macy, Massey, let's see, how many 3D printers do I have? Uh, okay, here, let me lean back. We're gonna go over this, here we go. In the office behind me, I've got a GMAX 1.5 XT and a GMAX 1.5 XT Plus with some extra goodies coming for that soon. And then I'll finally get to do my GMAX 1.5 XT review. I've got a Zortrax right here in the laundry room behind me, I've got a Flash Forge Creator Pro. I've got a Dremel 3D Idea Builder. I have a Lulzbot Mini. I have a Flash Forge Finder, which is currently not working because it sucks. And uh, a Simi CNC Orion Delta printer. That's in there. Um, downstairs, <laughs> downstairs, yet to be unboxed is an XYZ DaVinci Pro 1.0. And just arriving today is a Robo 3D R1, R1 Plus. I don't know which one it is, but it's in a box and it's downstairs. And coming soon is a Fabricator Mini, which uh, Hobby King is going to send my way. 
I also have, and you guys should look this up, a BCN Sigma coming my way for review. I don't get to keep it. But I also have a 3D Gents coming my way, and I think that one I get to keep. It's, uh, it sounds cool. And a pancake bot. I have a pancake bot. There we go. Okay. There we go. Man. Let's see. If it goes straight to the wall, of okay, where am I at? 50 million printer. Yes. Slow chat is eh. True. Last 10 years, power supplies are 924. It's true. I had hair under my hat before. Good. Uh, let's see. Broken flash forge? No, I want to get it fixed. And then once it's fixed and I can properly review it, I will probably give it away. That seems fair. That seems fair. Uh, let's see. Not the XYZ. What, what do you mean not the XYZ? I mean, I have to give everyone a fair chance. Leo says, do you recommend Deltas? Uh, well, I've only had experience with the CME CNC Orion Delta, and so far, it's freaking amazing. It's, in fact, let me, here, hold on. I've been trying to keep the prints that I do on stuff in one place. So this was, this was printed on the Orion. It's Bender, of course. Uh, there was this, this rocket ship. That was printed on the Orion. Uh, I did have to print, I did have to print a Robber Rex because they're just awesome. Ooh, and a TARDIS with perfect, with perfect windows. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Look at the windows in that. It is perfect. Perfect. I don't know how it did it. I really don't. But it, it did do it. <laughs> do it. Let's see. Uh, you like the channel? And you want to, okay, good. Let's see. High five from, high five from Iceland. That's fantastic. It is a lot of 3D printers. I know. Uh, you're in Greece and on your way to work. Oh, it's eating up all your mobile. Oh, I'm sorry. You should shut it off because I am not worth your megabytes. I'm not worth it. I'm trying to build one. Good, build one. You should post more for your patrons. I am working on that and I have something cool coming up that's patron only. I promise. Uh, you would, let's see. Yeah, Flashforge Creator Pro. It's a, it is a good, good printer uh, in the lab. Check out your channel. Sure, make sure you message me with your channel. I'll check it out. Uh, let's see, 5 p.m. in Australia, there we go. Where do you see 3 going in the future in terms of personal use, commercial research, educational, et cetera? Well, first, let me answer an easy here. What about the One How I3? I gave that away to a friend. A friend and his wife are technically capable, wanted a 3D printer, so I gave it to them because they promised me a lot of time on their uh, Glowforge. <laughs> I figured it was a fair trade. Where do I see 3D printing going? It's interesting, it's entering, a lot of people think that because pin shape is shutting down and solid doodle is, is shutting down that people are, I've, I've seen people worried that 3D printing is on its way out, has the bubble burst, and that's just not it. It's all of the, the cream is starting to rise into the next, the next era of 3D printing and everything that can't survive in the, the new era of 3D printing is, is gonna die off. Um, pin shape, uh, nice people there, but unfortunately, it just it didn't have a business model that worked in this new era. Solid Doodle, I'm sure they made decent machines at one point, but they couldn't rev fast enough and they couldn't get newer features on their machines. No one was buying them, and so they have to go out of business. That's just that's the nature of things. I think that 3D printing itself is going to become the Kleenex-like acronym for the new age of additive manufacturing and once we have that, we're going to have prominent players that grow and grow within this new era, and we're going to have people show up that are new and innovative, but every once in a while, we're just, as, as these, these companies rise to the occasion, we're going to get some that fall off the radar and just can't track with everybody else. And I think, I think that's what's going on. Um, so with your question as far as a commercial and personal use and education, we're going to see in the next uh, five years, probably, I would say, maybe even sooner, but five years definitely, we're going to see a surge 
of this type of 3D printing technology entering into these different manufacturing areas, into different educational areas, and it's going to be, it's going to be one of the future technologies that we have going forward. That's my thought. That's what I think. Boy, that was a lot of words, wasn't it? Would I get an M3D Micro? I've never heard anyone say they like the M3D Micro. If they gave me one, I would give it a fair review, but I would not buy it myself. Uh, let's see. When I do a video in the future where I make a 3D printer from scratch as cheap as I can, I, well, your idea of fun and my idea of fun are two thing, two different things, I think. What do I think of the XYZ DaVinci 1.0? I have no idea because I've never used one. You should talk to Chuck Hellebuck. He has used them before on his channel and he's been more than vocal about how well and how well they don't work. Uh, Gaba says, hi. Hi. Yeah, Pinshape was awesome, Duplicat. It's true. And it, there were good people there. I was actually going to, they approached me to do a collaboration monthly with um, some of their, their favorite prints and me producing some videos that they could then showcase some of these prints on their website, but it doesn't look like that's going to be uh, that's going to be it going forward. True Tech is correct. 3D printing is just taking off. We just have some companies, people, and technologies that that can't iterate fast enough to keep up with the curve. That's that's all we're experiencing. Joel, curious question: Have you seen my crazy one on Duplicator i3 in the Facebook group? It's the one with the tornado extruder. I have not. That sounds rad. Make sure you tag me when you post it in there. Oh, thank you, David. I'm glad you like the live format. I'm trying to keep up, I swear. Have you seen, let's see, 3D printing isn't going anywhere. Exactly. Bugs getting worked out in the design. Still a few more to take care of. That's true. Brandon says, anyone use the 3D printers with the CNC mill and laser cutter? I've, uh, I've, the, the XYZ DaVinci Pro supposedly has a laser cutter attachment that I could buy from Amazon, but um, that's the only one I, I know of. There was one company that sent me a blue laser for cutting that could a attach to different 3D printers, and it came in a box kind of wrapped with wires everywhere and a pair of goggles that said, use these when you use it. And I was like, ooh, okay, I don't want to mess with this. So that's going to be a giveaway on my channel. Hold on. You guys are making me talk a bunch. I'm going to have to drink my Red Bull. That was good. Let's see. Uh, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, so Michael Phelps has an M3D Micro, and the answer is no. Hey, fun fact, Michael Phelps is the one that does the animations. So like this guy right here, this, this unboxing guy right here, that was made by Michael, and he's awesome. Michael, you're good people, man. I know. Oh, I really wanted to go to the Midwest Rep Rap Festival. Um... I, there was a lot of people that I really wanted to see there, and a lot of people asked me if if I was going to if I was going to be there because um, uh, there's just yeah a lot of people that wanted to see me there, which is crazy. Who's texting me? Let's see. I'm gonna take a photo here. Someone text me. I'm gonna show them. Okay, everybody, say hi. That was fun. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tico, review it when it comes out. Okay, if Tico sends me a printer, I will review the Tico. I promise. That looks interesting. Do you plan on getting an SLA printer anytime soon? I, oh, I want an SLA printer, and I, I feel like I could really dig my teeth into that thing, but no one wants to give me one, and the materials seem to be prohibitively expensive for what I need, and so until... Until I can have a company sponsor one, or sponsor me with one, I I am unable to, uh, I'm unable to get one. Dang it! Hello from Australia, and hey Jeff, social high five. That's fantastic. Michael Phelps does rule. Ooh, and you guys, look at this. A pyro design. He's the one that does the logos to life, and you should definitely check out his channel. He's going to be doing one for my channel, and he's looking for other YouTube channels to do these 3D printed and designed logos for. So make sure you get in contact with a pyro design. Ooh. Make you awake? Okay. Can you... She's texting you too. Uh, tell her I'm streaming. 
Let's see. Okay. Bourbon o'clock here. Cheers from Australia. Ooh, that's fantastic. You need to tell me what kind of bourbon because I'm very interested. Can I? Yes, you can text me. Sure. 8675309. Let's see. It's amazing so far. Smile at you. Oh, fantastic. Well, thanks for letting me know, Mozilla Fox. Um, that's true. I am on the safe side. A little late for hellos. <laughs> the dog is. Oh, where is the dog? You got the. Uh, yeah, the dog's down there. She's chewing on her bone. Would you go on 3D hubs uh, from Leo Malloy? Uh, it depends. Are you, saw, are you talking about selling something on 3D hubs or shopping on it, uh, 3D hubs? I've, I've, I've heard of many people having positive experiences shopping on 3D hubs. I know a few people who sell on 3D hubs. I, I have plenty of printers. I probably wouldn't shop there just because I can print things out myself. But uh, if I had all the time in the world, I could put these printers to use on 3D hubs. That's no problem. But I do have a day job. And so the only time I get to do this stuff is late at night. And that's why I drink the Red Bull. Can I speak a different language? 10010111010110110110110110110. There you go. Two high fives from Mexico. Bam, bam. Let's see, uh, to stranger, that isn't my real number, is it? No, that just proves that I'm old. <laughs> Do you like the Upbox printer? I don't know the Upbox printer. Oh, thanks, Jimmy Shaw, appreciate it. Bam, high five, hola, from Mexico. Let's see, Joel suggests a printer starting one. You want a starting, a printer to start with, you mean a printer that you can uh, just kind of grow with, like a first printer. Um, I like the Wanhao Duplicator i3 because it's so inexpensive, it's almost hard not to say no. Or it's almost hard not to say yes, I think. Uh, whatever, however you say that. Uh, it's so inexpensive and so feature rich that the little things that you have to do to sometimes get it to work correctly are, are easy enough and well worth the effort because then it produces beautiful prints and there's plenty of upgrades and there's a fantastic open source community around it that create all of these mods for the printer and it's it's a good machine. Anthony at the hot end has a, a Wanhao Duplicator i3 and and he loves it. Uh, Michael Phelps, the guy that does my, my illustrations, he has an i3 and loves it. So um, that's, my, that's my recommendation. Spark plug, at least I'm not the only one old enough to know that. Awesome. Yeah, I am. I don't know if you, oh, let's see. Actually, when you got, how old am I? I know some people know how old I am, but leave a comment. Tell me how old you think I am, realistically. And then I, I'm just curious to see what people think because um, I don't know what people think. Uh, robot Boogie. That's right. Thanks, Sparky Face. Full-time YouTube job. Maybe someday. I don't know where this is going to take me, but uh, I do have a full-time job outside of this house, not with YouTube. And... It's what pays the bills and provides insurance for the family. Uh, if, if YouTube became a popular and uh, revenue-rich avenue for me, then there would be some hard decisions I would have to make. We'll just leave it at that. What time is it where I am? It is now 11, 11.42 p.m. Yes, that's right. 8675309 is song lyrics. It's for 8675309 Jenny. Let's see. Ooh, okay, good. You guys are, you guys are guessing the, uh, the let's see, ages. Uh, oh, some of you guys are pretty close. You, you're within five. Most of you, most of you are within five. I am 39 years old, and I will turn 40 uh, this summer. Yeah, I'll be 40 years old this summer. I throw a rockin' birthday party usually. It's fun. What? What? I'm sorry. Oh, that's my wife. She's chiming in, and she says she helps the birthday party. She actually does. I just, I just, uh, I start drinking at 11, and then quit when I'm done. And she makes sure the party runs. So, high five to my wife. Uh, let's see. What's the most useful thing that I printed? Oh, you know. Um, that's a really good question. I printed these brackets for a small whiteboard chalkboard downstairs that, that holds it up, and those have been uh, 
Uh, those have been useful. I really, and this is this is something I need to do more of. I haven't done a lot of uh, printing of, of quote unquote useful things. Uh, the things I print really large, I just love, and and the, the toys, like those rockets and bender heads and everything else. But I love that stuff. I love I love just the the feel, the feel of these these cool knickknacks. And eventually, eventually, I know I need to do uh, an enable hand, and I need to uh, print, some print some more. Gears, gears and, and interesting, and interesting stuff, stuff like that. Like that. And, and again, it goes, back, it goes back to the, 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 the I, I, I get to do this for one to two hours, hours a night when everybody's asleep, asleep which, means which means I'm going to sleep, sleep, sleep in order to do this. And, and if I'm going to do, do that, I'm going to try to do fun things because one o'clock in the morning doesn't work as well as three o'clock in the afternoon brain. If I had more time, I would do a lot more things. That's that's the honest truth. Audio, audio. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's see, let's see. Uh, um, some hand check, hand check. Audio here, here. here. Okay, okay. Um. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 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 I just just moved to the my microphone. Is it bad, bad? I don't know what you're hearing. hearing. Let's see. No, the batteries. batteries. The batteries are better than the wireless mics. mics. I'm working on it. I'm trying to fix the audio. audio. Mute your audio. audio. (sighs) Okay. Let me see if I can switch to a different media source. Hold on. Hold on. How about that? Is that better? Well, we'll see. Yeah, it sounds like a Dalek. I bet it sounds like a Dalek. All right, I'm turning off. Okay, there we go. So I've disconnected my my audio and I am. I'm. I, I, okay. Better. There we go. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm using the. I'm using the laptop microphone now. That might be. That's a lot. Well, as long as it's a lot better. Okay. That's good. That's good. What time is it? I got. I got another ten minutes. Another ten minutes. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 This is awesome. The out. Cry of everyone say yes, just make me smile. <laughs> uh, see, I'm not like Solid Doodoo. This is the doo-doo. I'm not like Solid Doodle. I can survive, and as the requirements change, I was able to iterate and 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 survive in this new era of YouTube streaming. Uh, okay. Okay, back to the questions. Let's see. I don't know. Should I have a Discord server? I've heard I've heard a lot of people like the Discord servers, and we could do we could do chats through that. Or uh, would a would a Google Hangout work better? Could we do a big group Google Hangout? I don't know if those work really well. Let's see. Your G. Hey, look at that in the lab. He's getting a you're getting a G Max ah with the the auto bed leveling. That that's awesome. I can't wait for you to get that. Oh, let's see. A huge laptop. It's not that big. It's a 15-inch laptop. It's it's a 15-inch laptop, you guys. It's it's not that big. Um, can you get a shout out to your channel? I don't know. Okay, Austin Lower says go to his channel. <laughs> Solid doo doo. Yeah, did I did I just make a hashtag? That's fantastic. Solid doo doo. <laughs> Discord is great. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I, I've only, uh, Barnacles had me on his Discord server, and it seemed interesting, and it, it looked like there were cool ways to chat. It seemed very, very Slack-ish, or IRC-ish. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. 
Thanks for the recommendation of the one hour three. You're very welcome. Let's see. Um, we only had one bourbon. Oh, I'm having, I gotta have some more Red Bull. Okay, Joel, the only one who can 3D print Chuck Norris without support. That's awesome. <laughs> Canada, what's going on? Um, yeah, everybody give Mickey a big hug because she's an awesome wife and she, she helps me out and she lets me do this. Ah, uh, solid dude, dude. Let's see, solid dude. dude. There we go. The laptop, here. Um, okay, here's my hand next to a laptop screen. It's not... It's not that big. It's not that big. This this machine is big. You guys, killing me. Let's see, uh, Gregory says, please shout out my channel. It is Lime Looper. That's a that's a good name. Uh, oh, and I snubbed the hot end. I don't know what I did, and I'm, I'm I hate that solid doo doo tractor. Yeah, there we go, dude. Does the IRC <laughs> comment really date me that much? Come on. Did you ever play in an MMORPG? Yeah. Oh, good. High five. I'm old. Um, would you group with someone in electronics? Leo, what do you mean by that? I would like more information there. Uh, Barnacles is cool. Here's what's interesting. Um, I, I had an opinion of who Barnacles was, and I, uh, I, I met him in person, and we've hung out a few times once we hung out once that's right when i delivered the thing but we, we've chatted a few times and he's he's just a nice he is a he's a nice guy in person he's he cares about friends and family and he's just he's just trying to do his thing so um yeah it was really interesting to to have this to, to know him online and then to to meet him in person and the same thing with chris perillo you you see him as a, a star wars aficionado and someone who 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 has uh a vlog every day and you meet him in person he's just he's just another guy just having a good time and trying to get stuff done his wife is is a wonderful person and his daughter is just supremely cute it's it's kind of cool hi oh hey we got chile chile someone from chile that's awesome uh, let's see have you ever been or plan to visit india i would love to visit india my my company has uh, a presence in india and i i would imagine i would I could visit there sometime. Uh, there's no plans for that in the future, but uh, who knows? Are 3D printers big in India? Maybe I need to go to a 3D printing conference in India. Uh, I need to get a passport first. I know, ooh, I know I'm going to be going to the, uh, the New York Maker Fair, and I may be going to the Bay Area Maker Fair. Um, so if you guys are going to any of those Maker Fairs, be sure you, you find me for a, we're an in-person high five. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I said, who's a wanker? Someone's a wanker? Oh, I'm not a wanker, am I? Dang it. Am I the wanker? <laughs> Joel, my favorite filament is Color Fab. I, uh, I've got two different favorite filament manufacturers at the moment. I really like ColorFab because of its deep and rich colors and the PLA prints for me nearly perfect every time. As far as exotics go though, I really prefer the Protopasta exotics because they lay down like butter and, and their finish is smooth and they print so, so easy. It's just, mm, mm. that's good stuff right there. Ooh, hi Top Gamer from Egypt. That's that's awesome. Uh, the Xbox just turned on. That's weird. Um, let's see, Joel. How does humidity affect three D prints? And you live in South Florida, okay? Uh, that's interesting. Um, you know, I humidity can affect the PLA on a roll uh, because it can absorb the moisture. Uh, but I, I read something a couple weeks ago where a guy had a, a PLA print and somehow it got submerged under water for years and he, he took it out of the water after that time and looked at it and it was no different than the day he printed it and it wasn't soft or anything. It just, it, it just is. It was plastic and it works. So I don't know. Um, I don't have any problems leaving filament out of Ziploc bags here in the Pacific Northwest. 
we um, we're entering our spring and, and summer, but we don't get that humid. So I don't I don't know if I'll even have to worry about that. Really, I've never I've never run into that. There's been a few filaments that have um, I don't know if it was environmental, but they got really really brittle after being left to the air, and uh, I had to throw some of those away. That sucked. Um, 3D printing is not popular in India. That's sad. Let's see. You should get a dehumidifier. Oh, spark plug should get a dehumidifier. That's true. Hatchbox is is great. I've, I've used lots of Hatchbox, PLA, and ABS from Amazon, and it's, it's printed fine. Back when I had my Etsy store and I was printing hundreds and hundreds of cookie cutters, I used Hatchbox ABS to print the cookie cutters, and it, it worked great. It was great. Here's what's awesome about that. You guys, if you have a 3D printer, start an Etsy store, design some cookie cutters, and start selling them. I sold cookie cutters on average five to ten dollars a piece, and then the people that bought them would pay for the shipping. Uh, I could get fifty cookie cutters from a roll, a, a one kilogram roll of ABS. So if you do the math and you pay twenty to thirty bucks for a roll of cheap but useful ABS, and then you you make two hundred and fifty dollars selling things from that roll, that's a really decent profit. It's just there you go. There's my business idea for you. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. A sunlight an issue. That I don't know. It is beautiful in Washington. I agree. Uh, oh, okay. Use Hatchbox for customer parts. That's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, am I caught up with the chat? Oh, this is kind of fun. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yusuf says, have I ever used any flexible filaments? I have. And uh, I used a semi-flex. And I printed uh, a poo, of course, because that's what I do. I print poo. And it worked great. I used it in the GMAX 1.5 XT+. Plus. I did try, when I had a Wombot, uh, the, the one that I gave to Chuck, I did try printing Semiflex in that. But because of the space between the, the throat of the, the hot end and the, the hub bolts, I just, I just couldn't get it going right. But I know others with Wombots have got uh, TPU going. So uh, it was just me, and I didn't spend a lot of time doing it let's see i heard that there's what okay mr magic you are crazy that's fantastic uh and you saw 3d printed cookie cutters that's that's great leo's in australia that's good um you should 3d print your logo to sell on etsy i don't think anybody would buy my 3d printed logo on etsy uh, Missy Davis. No, Etsy is not like eBay. Etsy is is like an online uh, craft fair where everybody can make things and sell them. It's it's interesting. I sell cookie cutters. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, we're getting. I got. I only got a couple minutes. Okay, I got a couple minutes. Uh, do I think I'll use Maker Geeks more since your review? Um, I, I have, okay, so all of my filament is, a lot of my filament is right here, and I have 20 some odd rolls to get through before I need to order more, and when I do, I might get Maker Geeks, or I, I might get Color Fab, or I might get Protopasta, or I might get Matter Hackers, or I might get Hatchbox, I, I just, I don't know, because people seem to send me filament, and I just use what people send me. That's that's simple. Um, let's see, craft like market hashbox. Oh well, uh, Nizzy Joel, give me a shout out and a high five. Bam! <laughs> there it is. Uh. uh, uh. I know it is a lot of film. Uh, oh, it's time. Okay, I got other stuff to do tonight. Well, that was that was a lot of fun. Right, let's 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 do this again sometime. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll get a PC uh, plug when I can find one, and I'll hook it up to the Zortrax. I'll try to get it working. It looks like it was used before, so I, I don't think I'll have any problems. I'll read the instruction manual. Now we've got this unboxing and Q and A, and then hopefully the next time you see this, it will be printing.
wonderful things. Uh, uh, well, there we go. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for joining me on this live broadcast. This was fun. Obviously, if if you like this format, I think uh, giving because it's going to be archived off onto the page. Leave uh, leave a comment there saying it was cool, or give it a thumbs up because if if enough people do it, then I can I can use some of the the Patreon money that I get to invest in streaming hardware to make it better, so I don't sound like a Dalek, so I don't have a robot voice because no one wants a robot voice. <laughs>